Breed from Satire.net reporting to you live uh, from 47th Street and 5th. Yep. And look what I found. Monkey Trail. Unfortunately, you can't see the machis on the bus, but I just wanted to explain to you that Muncie Trails is one of those, the first bus institutions to install a machis on its bus because it was scared that Casitum would sit next to women and maybe possibly join the Mile High Club. But in bus terminology, I'm wondering what it's called because you're not a mile high. But the bathrooms are just as small as the Mile High Club. So therefore, and I don't know how, how would two Hasidim fit into a bathroom? They're mostly overweight, and how would they fit the strimal in, the hat, and the coat? And I was always wondering these things. So obviously the Mechitza is just for show. The Mechitza is obviously just there to say, so someone can say to their friends, you know, my bus I ride on has a Mechitza, so I'm more religious than you. I mean, that's really the reason, right? Because no, if there was one seat available and it was next to a woman. Do you think a chutzner would actually sit down? They're too firm for that. So the mechitza is there, obviously for show. It's aesthetics. Maybe it's nicer. Maybe it's so they can fight about and there's something to talk about on the bus because everyone who's ever ridden, as they call the chutz bus, from Muncie to New York, talks about the mechitza. So this is just kind of like an education seminar for the people who don't understand that this is such an important issue because, I mean, I myself... You know, the whole point of riding a bus is so you're sitting in that seat and you see that hot chick walk by and you're like, oh, I hope she sits in my seat. And then she does and it's good. But she never did. But in my dreams, she does. And, you know, all sorts of things happen. And that's, you know, how I meet my shidduch and, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, so yeah. But in Israel, curiously enough, they haven't figured out yet that they actually should have mechizas on the bus. Instead... The woman gets on the bus and they say, no, 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 we're not going through that Rosa Parks thing again and we're going to kick you off the bus and we're going to have a beat down and then we're going to have a riot and we're going to burn some dumpsters down and it's completely insane because in the first place they just could have had a mechitza but in Israel, they're not from enough. They're too from for a mechitza. Mechitza implies that a man would sit next to a woman. Instead, the women sit on back of the bus, the men sit on the front, the women get that bumpy, bumpy ride where they get nauseous and then when they get nauseous, they say, you see, these evil women, they rode the bus in the first place. They left the kitchen, and therefore Hashem made them sick, and they're sinning.